Welcome back to the Zeus Daz Unemulated Retro Game Channel. I am your host Zeus and here we are with the final instalment. The third instalment to the track and field games on the ZX Spectrum which was absolutely brilliant. Daily Thompson Super Test 128 version. Now this follows on from my commentary Let's Long Plays of Hypersports and Daily Thompson's Decathlon. All phenomenal games and um, this is no different. This came out in, as I said, 985 basically to promote the newly released 128k toast rack which is what I'm going to be playing this on now I've got three of these models so um, I tend to go gentle on them I don't like playing these key bashing joystick games uh, joystick wrenching games on uh, on this machine or any machine for that matter my spectrums but there's no way I'm going to bust my joystick on a game like this so anyway let's redefine my keys right, so we do that that and that do it's been a long time since I've played this, and I do like that. It's got the old Hyper Sports. We'll put Daz in because I can't fit Zeus into the scoreboard. Well, so you get three lives on this game, 12 events. Some of them aren't very good events. I think uh, the Springboard event is stupid. I can I can never do that. I've never been able to do that. And the penalties, which is boring, and I can't seem to get very far on that either. So yes, some um, uh, nice little bits of AY sound in there, nice AY tune the title screen. And there's an ending on this as well, you get, uh, um, when you get your gold medal or whatever it is. And you also get a game over screen as well, where um, Hyper Sports, whatever his name is, is on the podium and you've lost and you're crying. That's quite good, I'll include that too. Penalties, I, I hate this event. I'm, I'm really crap at this event. I can't seem to score many goals on this event. Does my head in. See, I'm always hitting it at him. Straight in the middle. What's the best angle to do this damn event? Yay! I got a bloody goal. About time. I've been practicing this before and I just couldn't score a damn goal. Really annoying. <laughs> oh, got the post that time. Did I get a post? Yes, I did. So you need 2,000 to qualify. Again, he keeps saving it. I'm going to lose a life here. Because I just can't seem to get many goals on this event. It seems to bloody stop them all the flipping time. Again, straight in in there. I just I'm useless at this event. I hate it. I think it's a crap event. One life gone. Okay. Gotta press the fire button again to land. Ah, oh, too soon. Too soon. Foul. It's all about a bloody landing. Oh, come on, try again. Gotta get it right. Yes. Thank you. Qualified. Yeah, to complete this game, I need. Um, I definitely need three lives because, like I said, a lot of the times I can't do the penalties, and I certainly can't do the springboard. I have no idea how to do that event. Yeah. Good. Good. Next event, what's this? Do, 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 tug of war. Now I have done the woods on this, but let's just qualify, shall we? And it's hunt the bill. Yes, yeah, so Daddy Thompson is black in this version, whereas Decathlon, he was white. So I'm guessing the programmers listened to that. I don't quite know why he was black, uh, white on the uh, Decathlon, on the Decathlon game. 
Um, so I don't know if you have to go fast or there's a routine. Come on, why are you putting me away again? Gotcha. Don't forget the bot guy, you just can't get anywhere with him. I don't think it's possible. But I have beaten the woods once before. I, ha I have beaten the woods once before. It's all about getting the rhythm right. And I didn't on that occasion. Well, I've definitely beaten him before. Right, next event. Triple jump. Oh, perfect. That's qualified easily. Must have. You are joking. That was a great jump. I'm not getting my speed. Yes, or only just. As you get older, you, you, your fingers aren't so nimble, so you don't... Oh, dear, 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 that wasn't a good one. Yeah, your fingers aren't so nimble as you get older. <laughs> well, qualified anyway, that's what matters. Right, next event. Yeah, this took around nine, ten minutes to load on tape. Um, ridiculous. What I used to do in the old days is I would, while loading up these some of these big 128K games like this and Combat School for instance or Target Renegade, I would have another game loaded up on my other system like Commodore 64. So I'd be playing a game while another one's loading. As much gaming in as possible. Forty nine, that's pretty good. I'm, th that, I'm sure that's qualified. Yeah, that's that's qualified easily. Um, I've noticed on this version, this game as well, unlike the Hyper Sports and Daily Thompson's a cafe on is every time you win an event, the crowd doesn't do anything. Oh shit, I wasn't even. Ugh. The crowd doesn't react, which is a shame. It did on Hypersports, and it did on Decathlon, but not so much, it doesn't do anything on this game. 45, you can't argue with that. Perfect angle. <clears throat> I mean, there was a fourth game, Daily Thompson's Olympic Challenge, but I won't even touch that. That's, I didn't like that game at all. At all. Yep, thank you, it's qualified. Right, what's now? What's next? Oh. No, I knew you were going to hit that. I knew you were going to hit that as well. I knew you were going to hit that. I'm not going to qualify. I'm going to lose a life. I'm going to lose a life. Oh, I did just. I need all three lives because two of the events I can't seem to pass. That's the penalties and, as I said, the um, 
across the bloody vent board. Um, the springboard event. Oh, you idiot, I've just wasted a bullet there. Seems to be that one, doesn't it? Come on. It's not good. The qualifying, um, no, I didn't qualify. The qualifying uh, requirements for this game on some of the events is quite high. Should have got a bullseye there. Yeah, there we go. Maximum on that one. Right over there. Let's just shoot. We've got a lot of time. Too high. I should still qualify quite easily. Bullseye have now. Good. Boom. Definitely qualified. I do prefer the skeet on hypersports, I must admit. So the question is, once I've finished this Let's Long Play, which out of the three do I prefer? Hypersports, Decathlon, or Super Test 128? We'll have a little discussion about that at the end of this video. Perfect. <clears throat> See, penalties, I hate that event. They should have put long jump in or something. And shot put or discus. In fact, none of these games have discus. But bloody penalties and that stupid springboard event, which I can't get anywhere in. What's next? Oh, cycling, that's a hard one. It's a bit boring too. Yeah, what I tend to do, otherwise you're gonna you're gonna hear that, and I don't want to bash my keys like that. I tend to bury my fingers into the curves of the keys of the toast rack and just gently push, not release my fingers completely. I don't know if you can see that, but I do like the effect of the wheels on that. They sort of flash, gives it that impression that they're moving quite quickly. There you go. Doom, 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 doom. Diving. This event, I, I can't do it. I just cannot do this event. Just, I can't get the, it's crap. I don't know how you get your height. I'm pressing it the moment I hit that board. And I just can't seem to get anywhere in it. I, um, she doesn't give me anything. She's obviously there for height. I've got to get up the height, but how do you friggin' Oh, whatever. I've lost a life on this, but I just can't do this event. I really don't know. I wish somebody would show me how to do this event. 
giant slalom. What's this one again? I can't remember what. Oh yeah, bloody hell. Disqualified. I can't, I don't think I can ever do that one either, if I remember right. Can't seem to. Oh. I'm concentrating on it. <laughs> See, a qualifier, I can't even qualify, I just can't do this event either. So I don't think we're going to get the end in here because I haven't, I didn't pass the penalties. Ah, whatever. I think that's game over. Yeah, there we go. Well, anyway, um, I'm not going to play it again, but you've seen all the events. That's what this whole game is about, is showing all the events and getting to the end of the game. And I have done, even I've got the bad ending. There he is, crying like crazy, because Hyperville's got there instead. But the only difference is, when you complete the game, is um, the actual crowd goes nuts and there's fireworks and everything. Now, that's pretty cool, I suppose. But there we go. I think the whole game is... Um, it's not as fun. Hypersports is brilliant. And Daily Thompson's Decathlon is is pretty good too, I suppose. But this is a lot harder. It's a lot more long-winded. There's a few events in there we didn't need. I mean, I think penalties is a load of bollocks. Um, I don't like that hype. I don't think many of us can do that springboard event. I, I never get my head around that. Cycling, nah, you know. We could have replaced them with things like long jump and discus you know some of those events and um, I think there's not even pole vault or high jump in this so yeah three of those events I think are a waste of time the two of them especially the penalties the, the slalom oh and the slalom as well so yeah the slalom I think is is naff the springboard I can't even do the penalties irritates the hell out of me um, so there's three events you could lose and possibly, I don't know about the cycling, I don't know. But yeah, we certainly could have had some discus in there, couldn't we? Or some or hammer throw. Yeah, in none of these games have we seen a discus or hammer throw event. Um, I don't think so. No, I'm thinking of um, track and field in the arcade version. That had, ham um, that had the hammer, but not hypersport. But anyway, so we've come to the end of the trilogy of the best track and field games on the ZX Spectrum and you're probably wondering, so what's my favourite version? I think if I had to play one of these games, it's probably going to be Hypersports. I think that was phenomenally programmed. Uh, Daily Thompson to Caf uh, Decathlon, close second, followed by Super Test. I just think this is long-winded. There's a few events we don't need in it. And I don't know, it just doesn't feel as loose. It doesn't play as well. And it doesn't have that crowd roar when you when you qualify, which is nice. But uh, apart from that, between the three, you've got roughly 28 events to enjoy. So let me know what your favourite version is. Is it Hypersports, Daily Thompson's Decathlon, or Daily Thompson's Super Test 128? Please leave your comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this trilogy. And um, until I decide to do another Let's Long Play, I don't know what else I'm going to throw out. Obviously, shit game times come out weekly on the Fridays at Friday evening, so make sure you tune in with them. But my last message is, please subscribe if you haven't. 
hit that notification bell and definitely gives me give me the thumbs up if you can it helps the alpha room and all that stuff that helps my channel and please leave your comments below i always love um, reading them and commenting and replying to, uh, replying to them so thanks once again on this journey of these track and field games on the Zeg special all class in their own way and none of them are crap they're all very very good and um, yeah push the spectrum to its limits i think so right that's it for me this edition of let's long play until next time take care of yourselves and uh, keep tuning in and please keep leaving comments i love reading them. take care all the best zeus out There you go, a little bonus, I decided to quickly play the game all the way through and show you the, uh, the good ending, the full ending. And uh, it's quite a nice little ending I think actually, um, lots of fireworks and things like that. So I'll just leave that, you to enjoy this and uh, as I said I'll see you out, far out there. Woo!